But could I first ask everyone to keep their seats for a little while so that the children can get a, ch a chance to speak to a teacher? <laughs> Alex Wanish, come in there. Uh, my name's never done many. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks and stones. <laughs> are we all ready? Come on, keep it. Yeah. Ready when you are. <laughs> Seconds. The children would like to give you some presents. No worries. Can we get these three coconut along with the t-shirt there for a second? Lovely. That's perfect. Rina, look at here. Rina, t-shirt. That's it. Another little gift. Oh, how are you? John, how are you? Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Dave. Thank you. And we have one, we have one last one. <laughs> How's my friend? Tisha, can you? Just lean down beside this man. Just lean down beside this man. Just lean down beside this man. Of course, it's great. Thank you. Isn't that lovely? That's no. perfect. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Just look at the left. Over to the left. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Ready to go very quickly, yeah? Yeah, we're yep. ready to go. Okay.
It's absolutely wonderful. There's 29 people um, in this service. That, and there's really capacity for an awful lot more. But given the climate and given where the people are, there's people coming out of school that will be using the service later on. There'll be people moving on that are already here using the service. And the types of things that they do obviously depends on their abilities, it depends on their skills. They've got a lot of skills to develop, so this is where they come to develop them. Other ones have got to that stage and they're out seeking employment, and some are already in employment. And I honestly can say it has been an absolutely great achievement for everyone involved, and it's been a wonderful asset to the people that are here. Um, and I don't know what we would have done without it, really. A lot of the service users, as we call them, would be probably dispersed throughout the whole of the county. Um, what it has done for them is it has brought them into a local area. The local people are able to enjoy them being here. And over and above that, they get to know them. So therefore, if they're seeking employment later on, the companies and organizations in the local community know who they are, whereas they never had that opportunity before. What I see from here is that the people who are here, as I've said earlier, will be able to hopefully join the employment in the local communities or seek employment elsewhere. For those of um, who are here that can't do that, it'll be a resource centre always for them, where they can come, where they can enjoy um, the friendship of others, where they can enjoy doing things that they want to do the likes of painting, the likes of exercise, the likes of just listening to music, a lot just wants to do that. Um, and it's an opportunity for their carers to know that they're in safekeeping and also to have a break for themselves. Um, a lot of the, the service users that have came here have made friends with other people that they really didn't even know before. So from that point of view, it's wonderful for the people who are here. For the people who are out there who are going to need the service later on, there will be capacity for those individuals to join here. Um, it is hoped that upstairs will be developed later. Who comes in there, really, we don't know. Um, if the board get an opportunity, we may seek to lease it, and that will be a further development for learning disability services. Um, and it is hoped that that will be the direction that we'll be moving in. Cashland Accor Association uh, physically went out, sought this building, physically purchased the building, and then sought other funding from other bodies to get it off the ground. Board, the board was included in this. Um, and through that, we've got it to the stage that we're at today. When I say we, it was very much about um, the Cash and Accor Association and the funding bodies that has got it to the stage that it is today. Um, the health board run it because we have leased it from the association and we run the service, we assess the people who are coming in here, we assess what, what benefits they would achieve from coming through the front door. Um, because there's no point in bringing people to a service if they're not going to achieve anything. Um, and anyone that's attending here have all been selected more, more or less through an assessment process. And then there's regular sort of reviews of people's lives. Is it the best place for them? Are they enjoying being here? Is it benefiting them? Is it appropriate for them to be here? Um, so, you know, that, that is the level that, that we're at, and that will be the future for the actual building. <laughs>